This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, August 23rd, through this coming Sunday, August 29th, 2021. This week, this week is fabulous energy. This week we have access to the beautiful big picture. And this is what's possible if you hang in there and you don't give up. Your own beautiful big picture. So no matter how confusing things may seem, no matter the distractions that jump up around you, because these are ego lower 3D density plays to keep you muddled and out of alignment. Instead, to keep your focus and to clear your energy. Define what drives you. <laughs> What's your reason for having your goals and dreams? And, and then what are your consistent intentions? You have to make sure you maintain consistent positive outcome thoughts, consistent energy, consistent expectations of goodness for yourself. And also pay attention to your brightness. Brightness with a capital B. How you shine. How your future shines. How your heart shines and expands upon awareness of bright happiness that is available to you in this moment and in each unfolding moment. There's so much energy available to enable you to align to the highest potential outcomes you seek. So here are questions and thoughts to assist you. What are you making harder than it needs to be? What would ease and peace feel like? Name what you cannot control. Name what you can control and focus only upon what you can control. You guide everything with your intentions. You enable everything with your actions. Are your intentions and your actions in alignment with your desired outcomes? To ease your path and assist your alignment, Make sure you are led by trust, faith, adaptability, and resilience. You came here to have such an amazing life. You are part of a beautiful, bigger picture of life as a spiritual being having a human life. Don't let the energy of what's in front of you in one moment distract your heart and soul from your beautiful, bigger picture. And it's time to get the answers you need, the understanding you seek, the clearer energy and more focused alignment that is yours with a reading. Let's tap into your soul intentions and your lifetime blueprint. All the information for your reading is on my website spiritpathways.net and readings are on sale so take advantage of all that's available to you let's get into alignment with your happiness I can't wait to connect with you all right these cards one there's another one sticking out there we go nine cards for the energy of this week now you can benefit nine cards. Let's get lost in this energy. There we go. All right. Nine cards. Look at the cups. <laughs> I'm going to lay these out and go over each one. Love it. you all this energy beginning with cups ending with cups a lot of goodness in the middle all right <laughs> the king of cups 
We're beginning with an outcome card. He is the outcomes of the emotional alignment you seek. The King of Cups is the outcomes of the creative alignments that you seek. And the King of Cups is the outcomes of the spiritual alignment that you seek. The spiritual awareness, the spiritual awakening. All the levels of emotional goodness from relationships to that creative alignment for you where you're doing what you want to be doing in your life. Life that's emotionally satisfying to you on absolutely every level. If you named every category of your life, you would have emotional fulfillment in that category. That's an ultimate outcome. That's what the King of Cups is offering you. The Knight of Cups is on a quest. <laughs> He's on a quest to get to that alignment that the King has. And the way that he goes about his quest is by communicating, by telling people what he needs, by expressing the things that he's seeking, by sharing his ideas, by not expecting other people to read his mind. You know, when we expect other people to just know what it is that we want and then we get upset with them because they didn't understand, that's a lack of communication. And so in any relationship, personal or professional, communication is key. And to me, that's what this card is all about. He's holding the cup out. He's got mercury wings on his helmet and his boot. That's the communication. The cup is the offering. I want to share with you my ideas so mutually we can come to an outcome that we're really, really happy about. So, share those ideas, share those thoughts. Don't expect people to read your mind. Help them with what you expect. The Hanged Man says a couple of things. First, it says we're waiting for better timing, which has sort of been our theme the past year and a half. We're also waiting for things behind the scenes that we have no control over to come into alignment. And that again is a waiting game because we can manifest in our own energy and in our own space, but we can't do anything about other people's energy in other spaces. So the hanged man is waiting for those things to work their way through. But it's a perfect time for epiphanies. Ah, for the better perspective. That's the other part of the hangman. He's Not only is he waiting for better timing, but he's trying to change his perspective. So you need to change your perspective as well about what you're dealing with and how to get to that beautiful big picture. You need to have understanding, epiphanies, timing. Perspective. Good positive perspective. These all work together. And then the Four of Cups, <laughs> more alignment. So these cups represent the past and things that are finished and done. And this person is focused on those cups. But nothing happens here. This is finished. This is history. But up here, this little divine hand coming out of a divine cloud is offering new opportunities new, filled, fabulous cups of goodness, but you've got to quit focusing on the past. You're not going to move forward until you leave the past behind. Nothing happens in the past. You do not want to dredge up anything from the past. You want to move ahead. So, this card says, quit looking in the past, raise your vibration, look up, and accept and engage with the new amazing things that are waiting for you. The sun, <laughs> the center card in our reading this week. This is just pure happiness and joy. This is innocence of, of yes, I'm going to have everything I want. I have an amazing life. I'm so grateful for how happy and filled with peace and a fabulous outcomes my life is. I have so much abundance and prosperity and goodness. 
I am so, so blessed. Just complete happiness and having boundaries with anything that interferes with your happiness. Just do not let anyone else take advantage of that energy. Just revel in your own happiness and maintaining it. This Six of Pentacles is about giving to receive. As you share, and I feel this has come up for us in several weeks, as we share with others things that we have, it can be money, but it's also talent and time and listening skills and compassion. As we share these things with others, then we receive them tenfold. So open your energy, give to others whatever it is that you have that can help someone else share it out. It's going to open the energy and improve the energy for you personally. And here you are, the Nine of Pentacles, in your garden, just enjoying all the goodness of everything you have created. Another fantastic outcome card that perfectly complements this King of Cups. He's all the emotions, the spiritual. This Nine of Pentacles is the material, the quality of life, the value fulfillment. It's you in the garden of all that you have created, reaping the benefit of everything you wanted to enjoy. So don't keep holding that away from you. Realize it is here for you now. You are enjoying it now. The Seven is a Pentacles all about all your ideas. <laughs> You have so many ideas that contribute right here to this Four of Cups and that new opportunity. What are all your ideas? Some are very fulfilling and very near completion and blossoming and you're seeing results. Others are tiny seeds that you're deciding whether you even want to plant them. And then all in between are all the other different levels of growth of all these ideas. So think about your ideas. They're really important. They're really valuable. And you're ready to in embrace them and play with them and work with them and see the benefits. We started with the King of Cups, which is the outcome. We are ending with the Ace of Cups, which is the beginning. So please embrace this beginning. Your spiritual awareness and awakening beginning. Your absolutely creative life beginning. Your love. Your relationships. You being surrounded by people who love and appreciate you. That's in alignment energy. And that's what you are seeking. And that's what this Ace of Cups gives you. So embrace this this week. These are amazing cards. Focus on your personal happiness. Here you are in the garden. And I'm here to help you come into alignment if you feel you're not in alignment or if you want just clarity just specifically for you. A reading just for you. These readings apply to everyone and you can use this energy absolutely. But we can connect one-on-one, -on -one, connect to your spirit guides, connect to your lifetime blueprint, give you all the answers and all the understanding you need to get to that higher vibrational alignment of an amazing life. So let's have a reading. They're on sale. It's just a summer sale. It won't last forever. So take advantage of getting your reading now. All the information is on my website spiritpathways.net. Have a great week. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.